most people think that fish in tanks were captive bred for that purpose. Most people don't know that just 2% of the fish kept in saltwater tanks can be captive bred. So 98% are captured on the reefs, often with very destructive and unsustainable methods. Fish are captured with cyanide um, that are coming out of uh, Indonesia and the Philippines, for example, and um, up to 90% of the fish that end up in the markets may have been captured with cyanide. It's very destructive, it harms and kills coral reefs, it kills fish and other animals on contact, and the survivors are the ones who are then shipped and ultimately end up in tanks. Aquariums can look very beautiful, but the cost to the wildlife in getting from the reef to those tanks is substantial. And while in a tank these animals may live for days, weeks, or months, sometimes a year. In the wild, their lifespans are measured in decades. Our mobile app is Tank Watch, the good fish, bad fish tool for saltwater aquariums. And it's really designed for aquarium hobbyists in particular to help them determine which fish are best um, to keep in their aquariums. And really, it's to guide them to purchase captive bred fish and steer clear of those captured on the reef um, which is often done in uh, very destructive ways. We've launched Tank Watch, and now what we really need to do is get it into the hands of aquarium hobbyists, um, saltwater aquarium hobbyists, freshwater aquarium hobbyists who may be considering moving into saltwater tanks at some time. The U.S. is the um, largest market, followed by the EU and Asia, and we're really looking to get Tank Watch into the hands of about 200,000 new users every year. Uh, the goal is to prevent about a million fish from being captured on the reefs each year. So what we need, uh, we need funding support, we need strong partnerships um, to help reinforce our conservation message, corporate partnerships um, who have an audience uh, who maybe visit aquariums, who um, have an interest in marine life, um, that would be our ideal partner. Coral reefs are very, very threatened today. We're hearing in the news about the bleaching that's happening all over the world. And these animals are actually critical for their ecosystems. So we really want to protect coral reefs, protect the animals, and allow people to have aquariums if they want, and just urge them to only stock them with captive bred fish. They may be small, but they're amazing animals and uh, very worthy of our protection. I'm Renee Umberger. I'm with For the Fishes, and we innovate to save wildlife.